SJ. Sorry. Hi, I'm Shabon. Hi, I'm SJ. Hi, I'm Mas. Hi, I'm Leah. And this is Zula Chit Chat. So today we're going to be talking about the differences between JC and Poly and whether it affects you, you know, in a working life or in the future in university. So first of all, where do you guys study? In JC or in Poly? I took Diploma in Marketing in Tomasic Polytechnic. Uh, I studied RJ. Uh, I'm from Nyam Polytechnic. I pursued a Diploma in Business Studies. I went to CJC. So the next question would be, why do you choose to go to a JC or Polytechnic? I was from RI before that, uh, secondary oh, okay. school. So I was just like there for six years. Six years. Actually, to be honest, I had the intention of going to JC. For the fact that I studied so hard, I still didn't do as well. I really thought that maybe perhaps I should consider a change in like the curriculum mm. that I wanted to study for, which is why I opted for poly. Uh, when I was in secondary school, the teachers asked like, okay, so who wants to go to poly? Only two people raised up their hands. And, you are and one of I them. was like the first one. I'll show you like, <laughs> like, I was like, eh. I'm so going to go to poly that I decided to drop AMAT. I actually knew exactly what I wanted to do mm. from a pretty young age. I wanted to do more projects. Mm. I wanted to not just mark. Okay, why I went to JC is because, um, first of all, my mother refused to let me go to poly. Like, she refused, like, die also cannot. I think uh, my mom made a good decision on my behalf mm -hmm. because uh, I know that if I had gone poly, I'll probably play like Xiao. So, what are then some differences between a JC versus a poly curriculum from based on your own experience? I think, like, poly gives you a lot of freedom. You have own time, own target. <laughs> so, you you are forced to have discipline. You know that the attendance, there, there's not going to be any attendance taking. So, if you want to go to class, it's legit for you to like go there and learn. I think for Polytechnic, we also focus on a lot of individual components as well. It's very important for the person or the individual to like consistently do well. Mm. So I think that's one of the biggest differences between Poly and JC because for JC, most people will just be studying for A-levels. So I would say that people who are very good at last minute cramming, they can choose not to study for like maybe half the year yeah. and then cram all the way and still do well. I mean, I think that's a good thing about JC because then you don't have that accumulative kind of like pressure to keep doing well every single time. That's why I really, really have respect for Poly students, right, who do them well. Like yeah, poly like JC students. is like, like, you know, you have like this very big race at the end. They try to get the two years, right, just like training and training. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, you know, that you suddenly run very fast, then we all get it. Okay, then. No, oh, then after you finish, yeah. you collapse on the floor and die. And she is flying! She's taken the lead at the last second! Oh, face plants the ground! But in Poly, that's not really the case. If you choose to not do your assignments, right, for the first half of the semester, then that whole percentage, that weightage in that semester will just be pulled down. And it's a lot more teamwork. Uh, which is good and bad as well Because mm, you know, you choose mm, good mix uh, strategically mm. So some people, even if they don't do work They're still going to get that maybe an A grade mm -hmm. if you do well I think that JC, right It's very, very independent studying, I feel Like, you can help your friends But ultimately, the paper you take is all cow to see Even like, I think well, I think one of the differences in poly So it's not really curriculum per se But it's just the diversity of the people mm -hmm. Like when I was in poly, I had classmates who were like dads or moms yeah. Like they had children already Or I, I even had like classmate who was a professional gamer la, So he never really came to school All these little, little things are different kinds of people, I think from different walks of life. You know, you used to think that if you are from elite secondary school, you used to think that, oh, like, you are just the top of the whole lot, you know? But when you meet people from different walks of life, right, they have to be your group mates. So you kind of have more interaction with people who have different kind of background. It may not be the case for JC because I feel that JC has that cutoff point. The profile of people that then go into JC are maybe a little bit more similar to one another. Uh, next question would be, what are some stereotypes of JC students versus boy students? I think JC students are not very versatile. Like they are, they just only know how to mark. Mm. So that's mm. the assumption that they are not very street smart. Actually, I think like it's true in a way that JC students are very really, like like mugger or because like even if it's not true when you first enter the JC, right? Like after you go through like two years of like mugging or that, then you have to be able to mark what. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like JC students going being book, more book smart, what? It's more like the environment that shapes you. So it's like maybe you're not as street smart and you're more sheltered because of how controlled the environment is around you. I would say that like it really depends on you as a yeah. person as well. Like I think that there are a lot of things that one person can do like outside of school mm. and outside of the system where it will shape you as a person. There's another stereotype also that I just remembered. It says people always say like, oh like JC boys very horny. Because like <laughs> very suppressed. I don't oh, know. Oh my god. That's no. not true. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> 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 No, it's secretly yeah. very, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. very suppressed. So once they go to uni, it's unleashed. Unleash. Okay, maybe it's true to an extent uh, because like for my school, right? We're, we're a boys' school, right? Uh, before that. Yes, oh, correct. Yeah, so like, oh. yeah, then like, like some of the guys like, yeah, me are fine, but like, and they all talk to a girl like for like four years. Uh. Yeah, usually like what I hear is like they're the ones that when you hit eighteen, then they just unleash in clubs. Oh like yes, the, yes, yes, yes. That's true, though. I have to agree. <laughs> 
then do you think um, once pre-university education, so JC or body, right, will affect how they um, interact in work or university in the future? Okay, so based on my observation, right, people from poly uh, who work straight after graduation, I feel that like sometimes they're a bit more resourceful. Mm. Whereas for JC, I think that sometimes they prefer a bit more like structured kind of uh, working environment yeah. where you are told A, B, C and then they do A, B, C. Mm. If you tell them that oh, open format, you know, just find whatever that you think is best, then sometimes they find it very weird, like a bit mm. hard to kind of adapt yeah. to this yeah. entire system. Yeah. And I think also because they're very used to taking like instructions from, yeah. for example, mm. teacher or higher yes. order. It's like, you know in JC, you don't have kind of like very real confrontation. Yes. You know, I mean in poly, you, you contact a lot of people who are outside of yes. your... You do, right? Yeah. As in for your own research, right? You contact people who are like professionals in like mm. their particular industry mm. or whatever, whatever, for your interviews, for your projects, for whatever. You yes. just like, uh, do you contact anybody in your entire project? I'm gonna call my friends up. Yeah, you call your friends up! Going out to the workforce, I feel that maybe polytechnic students might be better prepared. Every poly student has to do internship. Their work experience like in polytechnic does give you a little bit of like a taste of like what working life would be like. Do you think it affects the way you behave um, in university? For example, if you go poly or you go JC? Okay, like, so for me, like, I went to poly first and then I went to SMU. Mm. So um, for me, I think like the experience was really a huge culture shock. <laughs> like, to be very, very honest, that like, was a really huge culture shock. I feel that uh, university education is very theoretical. Mm. And like poly in poly, right, we, we are taught theories in like layman terms. Majority of my course mates were from JC. One thing that really benefited them like, in this course, in, at least for my course of study and maybe in uni as well, is the fact that they are very good at taking exams. For me, like, I think that was something that I really struggled with mm. because like, I, w I did not take. I did not really have like super important exams like throughout poly. I did so many projects. I always chose like the project route instead. So, for me to go back to the books and to mark right and to compete with the JC students, I felt like I really lost out lah. Like if you're taking a course that is more ac academic driven, um, being coming from a JC might give you the added advantage, especially when you have to take a lot of exams. I feel that the poly education does help you a lot in project work though. For example, if you have a more hands-on course like physiotherapy, mm. you can actually just go to SIT and take one more year and mm. you get your degree. So it, it depends lah. If it's more like <laughs> academic, you know, more of theory, then like I said, I think JC students might have an advantage. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that if you're going to university and you're going to a course that is already, you know, very reputable mm. because and like very highly graded, right? Then it's gonna be a definitely a JC environment. Yeah. The workload is like a poly yeah. kind of student workload, but yes. it's the intense version of, you know, of JC. Of JC. So it's like bam, like bam, combination of both. Best of like, both yeah. worlds. So like you have the poly mm. curriculum, but then you have the JC like environment. Yeah, it's like. like so the last question would be uh, for those people you know who just took their O levels or whatever it is, right? Any advice for them when they're deciding to go to JC or poly? If you are someone who really knows yourself and know exactly what you want to do mm. in the future then maybe poly might be better. Yes. Yeah. But if you don't know what you want to do in the future, then maybe go JC because it's easier to enter uni. Mm. And while you study, you know, then you can kind of figure out what you want to do. Mm. I think you should like focus more on the experience that you're going to get in poly or JC. Maybe talk to your seniors and then um, also look at yourself. Uh, find out if you're better with like maybe academics or better at working on projects so that you enjoy yourself while you either JC or poly. Uh, I think for me, it really doesn't matter whether you choose poly or JC, but more importantly, it's what you choose to do outside of school and outside of curriculum that will make the difference. I think personally, I would prefer to go to JC, and my advice is that if you're really not sure about what you're going to do, I think JC is a better option because you kind of, it's easier for you to get into like maybe a university after that. But I mean, if I don't think ultimately that's a goal for everyone, and if your goal is to you know work in a course that you really enjoy, then poly is definitely a choice for you as well. Yeah, but other money just listen to your mother lah, okay? My mother made a good choice for me, okay? <laughs> so today, we talked about the differences between JC and Poly. And we concluded that you should evaluate your choices and make the best decision for yourself. So if you guys have any opinion on this issue or have any comments about JC or Poly, feel free to leave it in the comments and let us know what else to talk about next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye.